Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Storytelling with Time Travel Tots. My name is Emily and I work here at the National Archives. I hope you've enjoyed our stories so far that have been inspired by archive documents. You can catch up on all the episodes back on the main Tots webpage. Next up is Danny who is going to take you on an adventure into a garden in 1943. That is right in the middle of the Second World War, a time when people used their gardens to grow their own food. Join me again afterwards, where I will tell you more about the documents that we keep here on Wartime Gardens. See you soon! Hello everyone! My name is Danny the Storyteller, and I'm here for the National Archives. Now, you were just listening to Emily tell you what wonderful things we have at the National Archives. We've got documents and images and all kinds of wonderful things. And one of those is this poster here from World War II. And that is what our adventure is going to be about today. Hmm, I'll tell you more soon. Now, I'm here. And Rat's here, our friend Rat, who always comes on our adventures. Except you were having a bit of a holiday, weren't you, Rat? So I'm very glad that you're back. And I think Rat's going to enjoy this adventure, particularly because it's got some digging in it. Digging in the soil. And I know Rat's like to dig. So hopefully Rat will enjoy this. So we're here and I want to find out who's watching at home. So I'm going to get my binoculars. I'm going to have a look and I can see Lottie and I can see Khaled and I can see Rustem and Anika and Joseph and Akash and Maya and I can see you. So thank you for coming to join me. Let's do some claps. Right, can you show me the tea? Can you show me a uh, back of the hand clap? Back of the hand, back of the hand. <laughs> Can you show me a... Uh... <gasps> well, that one feels quite fun. <laughs> and now we might be getting a little bit muddy today. So imagine if you've been in the garden or playing in the mud and your hands are completely covered. <clears throat> and you got to... <clears throat> Wipe it off, Ugh. wipe it off, Ugh, the mud clap, Ugh, get rid of all that mud, ew, ew, it's still a bit grubby, but it's okay, because we're going to get grubby, well done, good claps, now it's time for us to be time travellers, we're going to spin back in time to 1943, in the middle of World War II, let's go to London, Let's go and find out what was happening. Okay, get your spinning hands. Time to use our e -e imagination. Time to pretend. Time to be time travellers. Spin your hands forwards and spin backwards. Spin high and down, down, low. Spin fast and slow then close your eyes and count to three one two three open your eyes <gasps> world war ii 1943 and london is under attack <gasps> lots of children like you were taken to the countryside so they were safe to Cambridgeshire, to Norfolk and lots of other places. But those left behind, well, they had this ration book. Hmm. Food, well, food was in short supply. There wasn't really enough, so everyone had to be very careful. And the government gave people these ration books. And they had certain things in there that you couldn't have, or only in tiny amounts. Like an egg. One egg a week. That was all, not two, not three, just one. And sweets. 
Well, sweets? Ugh. You could hardly have any of those either. These were all the sweets and chocolate you could have in a whole week. Nothing else. No chocolate biscuits. No Freddos. Just these sweets. Not very much, is it? <laughs> so, rations were really important. But it did mean that sometimes people got a bit hungry. And that is where the government came up with an idea. Dig for victory. Grow your own vegetables. Brilliant. Grow your own vegetables and fruit. You'd have more food. So that's what happened. Trouble is, a bit like me and maybe you, eh? Mm? What? A lot of people didn't know how to garden. <sighs> so will you help me? Will you become gardeners with me right now? Brilliant. Now, we better put on our gardening clothes. So what should we wear? Call out to me. What do you wear if you're going to be doing some gardening? Oh, brilliant. Welly boots. Good. Ah, put one on. Other one on. Ah. What else? Old clothes. Good. Because we might be getting a bit muddy. Put on your oldest clothes. One arm in. Woohoo. Other arm in. Woohoo. Ah. And got our wellies. Gloves. Good. Sometimes it might be a bit <clears throat> thorny, maybe. We don't want to get sore hands. Great. So now we're ready for our gardening. Now. First things first, oh egg, I'll put you safely down there so you don't crack. We need some earth. Now, in London, as we know, London is a very busy place. And in 1943, there were lots of people who didn't have their own gardens. But even if they had the tiniest garden, the government tried to encourage them to plant vegetables. And if people didn't have gardens, like in London now, a lot of people had allotments. An allotment is a piece of land, a piece of land and grass where you can grow flowers and fruit and vegetables. And here we have our very own soil ah, in our very own allotment. Oh, now, it needs a bit of digging. Now, I'm very lucky. I have my digger. There we are. Ah, but maybe you could... Uh, Use your imaginary whoop, digger. Maybe you could get a spoon. Hmm. And let's get digging. Right, first, show me your muscles. <laughs> Very good. Ah, it's quite tough doing lots of digging. I want you to dig, dig. <laughs> That's the soil throwing sound. Dig, <laughs> dig. <laughs> good. Three digs and then <sighs> take a breath. Are we ready? Off we go. Dig. <laughs> Dig, 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 one more time, dig, 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 brilliant, excellent digging. Now the soil is ready, well what comes next? How do we get the vegetables to grow? Mm. Thank you. Seeds. Excellent. Yes. Get your seeds and uh, <clears throat> let's get ready to plant them. Get your seeds in your hand and sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Planting the seeds along the way and then covering them up ah, with our soil. Excellent. Doing very well. But now what? Do we just leave them? What does it need? You're right. Sun and water. Well, we can't control the sun, but we can ask for it. Oh, sunshine, sunshine, come down on us. Beat down on our beautiful seeds. Fingers crossed. And I heard water too. Yes, water. Very important for all growing. Now, I've got my watering can here, um, but can you make the sound of the water shh, hitting our soil with our seeds in it? Or you might make the sound instead of the rain coming down. 
natural watering for our seeds. You choose. Ready? I've got the watering can. You make the sound. Ready? One, two, three. Water! Ah, oh, beautiful water! Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Oh, excellent. Lovely watering of our seeds. <laughs> But well, now I guess, well, there's not much else we can do but wait. More weeding, tick tock tick, more sun, tick tock tick, more watering, tick tock tick, and time goes on, and time goes on, and things begin to grow, and things begin to change, until suddenly, one day, there in your garden, or down at the allotment, can you count me in for three? One, two, three... A beautiful basket of picked fruits and vegetables. Mmm, leeks and potato. Ooh, leek and potato soup. Mmm, a cauliflower there. Mmm, cauliflower cheese. <gasps> Carrot and cabbage. Tomatoes, I love those in some salad. We've got food to keep us going for ages. And that's exactly what happened in World War Two. The rations were limited. They were there, but with these vegetables and fruit, people could have a lot more to eat. And it really helped the war effort. Well done to you. I wonder if you were going to plant a wartime garden in World War Two, what would you have planted? What are your favourite fruits and vegetables? Maybe a blackberry bush. Maybe some beetroot. I don't know. Hmm, you'll have to think. Maybe some of you already do gardening or know someone that does. After the war, a lot of people carried on gardening and maybe that's how it got passed down to your mum or your dad or your grandma or granddad. I don't know. For now, you have been brilliant gardening helpers. We've dug for victory back in London in World War Two, And now, well, we better spin back to 2020. So, ready, Rat? It was good digging, wasn't it? Yes. Get your spinning hands. Spin forwards and backwards. High, low, fast. Slow. Close your eyes and count to three. One, two, three. Open your eyes. We're back at home in 2020. We're not pretending anymore, but you've been brilliant storytellers and adventurers and gardeners. Give yourselves a pat on your back and a mud clap. You get that mud off now we've been digging. Ah. One thumb up. Two thumbs up, give yourselves an oh yeah. And now Emily is going to tell you a bit more about this poster. And there might be some other ones too. Well done, everyone. Give yourselves a big wave. Goodbye. I'll see you soon. Farewell. Hello again. It was lovely to see you right back from holiday, wasn't it? especially to the fun task of helping Danny plant a garden of fruit and veg. What was your favourite part of the story? I liked digging in the soil the most. Three digs, then take a breath. Though I must say I did get a bit out of breath doing all of the digging. Shall we take a closer look at the poster that Danny showed you? This is a special kind of poster which was made by the government during the Second World War. It is called a propaganda poster. Now, you may not have heard of the word propaganda before. Propaganda is a document or piece of information, such as a TV or radio programme, which tries to convince people to do or think something. The government wanted as many people as possible to join in and help with the war effort, so asked people to do simple things, such as growing their own food. It was seen as important to do, so that people would keep on supporting the war. This document is very bright and colourful and it makes the basket of vegetables look so tasty and delicious. I think they would have used these colours to persuade people that growing their own food was a good idea. 
We have many different examples of these propaganda posters here at the National Archives. Here is another example about growing your own food. And it looks quite similar to our first document, doesn't it? Do you remember Danny talking about garden allotments? Look at the bottom of the document. It mentions them here. In fact, many parks and gardens were turned into allotments. Here is a great photo of an allotment in Kensington Gardens. That's a big park right in the middle of London. You can see these people digging in the soil to plant their own food. I'd like to show you another document now, which Danny also mentioned in her story. It's the ration book. We have a copy of these because they were documents that the government gave out to everyone in the country. Inside of the ration book were coupons, which are a bit like tickets that you could swap for food and other items. It meant that everyone had an equal share of food during the war. Food such as eggs, cheese, milk, biscuits and ham were all rationed. And there were different coloured books for adults and children, like you can see on your screen now. Children were able to get more of certain types of food because they were growing, a bit like you are now. Okay, that's all for this episode of TOTS. See you next time for some more storytelling excitement. Goodbye now.